improper integrals so this is the unit 3 of our course this one yeah so there are situations uh, just as i told you where a function f has points of infinite discontinuities in the closed interval ab that is what does it mean that uh, fx tends to plus or minus infinity as x x tends to some number c in inside the interval ab okay or the limits of integration may become infinite in such situations uh, the symbol a to b fx dx is called an improper integral okay for example you, you, you have seen this type of integrals uh, some of these we have already done in higher secondary uh, courses uh, without knowing the proper definition we have also evaluated one of the most uh, commonly asked question in higher secondary is integration uh, 1 to infinity dx y uh, 1 plus x square okay so it's it comes out as 10 inverse x from 1 to infinity like that okay so, so some of the things is already known to you without the proper definition so here in this unit we will see how these are properly defined rigorous definition of this type of integrals okay so for the for the first example is 1 to infinity dx by x square so here what happens the upper limit is infinite okay so this is a improper integral in the next one say minus infinity to infinity dx by 1 plus x squared so here both limits are infinite okay both the limits are infinite so this is also an improper integral what about this here the limits are infinite uh, finite but the function has infinite discontinuity at x equal to 0 that means when x tends to 0 plus there is uh, since the interval is from 0 to 1 so when we take x tends to 0 plus of 1 by x it becomes plus infinity right x tends to 0 plus of 1 by x is plus infinity so it's infinite right infinite discontinuity at the point x equal to 0 the next one minus 1 to 3 dx by x minus 2 okay so this uh, this has also got an infinite discontinuity but not at the end points it has got an infinite discontinuity at a um, interior point of the range okay so that interior point is x equal to 2 so at x equal to 2 the function f is has infinite discontinuity okay so all the above integrals are called improper integrals so let us come to this formal definition the improper integrals can be given meaningful definitions as under okay so there are several cases so first of all let us consider the case of an integration of unbounded function with finite limits of integration okay so first of all we will consider that the limits of integrations are finite but the function becomes unbounded at some uh, yeah in, in in the interval that means uh, the function has a finite number of points of infinite discontinuities okay so let f be a function defined in the interval ab except at a finite number of points inside ab okay where the function has infinite discontinuities okay then also there are several cases the one one is the convergence at the left end point that means the function has infinite discontinuity at the left end point that is the point a okay so let a be the only point of disc infinite discontinuity of the function f that is limit x tends to a plus of fx is infinity or plus infinity uh, sorry is infinity or minus infinity then for every epsilon greater than zero satisfying epsilon less than b minus a the integral f plus epsilon to b fx dx exists okay because the function is having infinite discontinuity at only one point that is a okay so if we take any point greater than a from there to b the function uh, the integral exists okay the function is bounded in that interval okay from f plus epsilon to b for every epsilon greater than zero okay but less than b minus a right so the integral a plus epsilon to b f dx exists okay so it will be some function of epsilon right after that if limit epsilon tends to zero plus of integration a plus epsilon to b f dx exists finitely okay then we say that integration a to b f dx converges at a or exists at a okay so usually we, uh, for improper integrals we use the term converges okay converges means this limit exists okay limit epsilon tends to zero plus of a plus a plus epsilon to b f dx exists finitely 
okay then we say that a to b f dx converges at a and we write that this value is equal to the value of this limit okay. value of the integral is defined as the value of the limit okay for example let us uh, see this integration 0 to 1 dx by root x okay so here the function is 1 by root x and 0 is the only point of infinite discontinuity of 1 by root x as 1 by root x tends to plus infinity as x tends to 0 plus okay this is uh, already known so we evaluate this limit okay we evaluate this limit limit epsilon tends to 0 plus of epsilon to 1 so it's actually 0 plus epsilon so 0 plus epsilon to 1 dx by root x so the inter the integration of 1 by root x is as you know 2 root x okay so it's a limit epsilon tends to 0 plus of 2 root x and uh, the limit goes from epsilon to 1 okay so we put the upper limit so it's 2 into 1 minus 2 into the lower limit okay and now if you take the limit of this function as epsilon tends to 0 plus you will get the value is 2 which is finite okay hence this integral converges and the value is 2 okay the value of the limit is equal to the value of the integral okay so this is how we evaluate the improper integral so similar to that uh, we, we can have convergence at right end point also let b be the only point of infinite discontinuity f uh, so for every epsilon with the zero less than epsilon less than b minus a the integral a to b minus epsilon okay so observe this uh, we now have infinite discontinuity at the point b only okay so for any real number less than b a to that real number integration integration of a to that real number of f uh, exists okay so this is what we have written for every epsilon the integral a to b minus epsilon f dx exists so if uh, now if this limit exists finitely then we say that integration a to b f dx converges at b okay and we write this uh, value of the integral as the value of the limit okay then we may have convergence at both endpoints so if the function becomes uh, infinite at both the endpoints that is a and b are the are the only points of infinite discontinuity of f then what we do we we find out a interior point we consider any interior point inside a b uh, so the integrals a to c f dx and c to b f dx are understood to have meaning as per the preceding definition we have already defined what happens if there is a only one point of discontinuity that is a okay we have already defined what is what happens when there is only one point of discontinuity that is the upper limit b okay so these two integrals are meaningful now uh, to define a to b f dx what we do we uh, find out this integral if if this integral exists and if this integral also exists okay then we say that the uh, integral a to b f dx also exists okay so if both the integrals a to c f dx and c to b f dx converge then we say that the imp improper integral a to b f dx also converges and its value is defined as integration a to b f dx uh, this value is, is defined as the sum of these two these two values okay so it's uh, borrowed from the uh, properties of remain integration okay we already have this property so we want that the improper integrals also should satisfy this property hence we we uh, keep this property as a definition itself okay if both the integrals exist then their sum will denote the integral a to b f dx okay right so observe that if uh, any one of them doesn't exist then the whole integral a to b f dx doesn't exist okay converges uh, convergence at interior points okay now uh, let c belongs to open interval e b be the only point of infinite discontinuity of f if both the integrals a to c f dx and c to b f dx converge then we say that integration a to b f dx converges and uh, similarly we define we define this as the sum of these two is defined as a to b f dx okay so this is what happens now if there are more points of discontinuities how we will deal with that situation so if uh, c1 c2 cn be infinitely uh, finitely many points of infinite discontinuity of f then integration a to b f dx is said to converge if all the integrals starting from a to c1 then c1 to c2 c2 to c3 
cn to b every such integral exists the only only then we can write that a to b fdx exists and this sum is defined to be the value of a to b fdx okay so this is the generalization so well, yeah and one thing you can note that a to b fdx is said to be divergent if it is not convergent okay if that limit doesn't exist okay so ex examine the convergence of this uh, problem so this is this problems are taken from mathematical analysis by malik and arora okay so mathematical analysis by malik and arora okay. so from this book which is also your textbook right so uh, let us see how to deal with this problem integration 0 to 1 dx by x square okay so here zero is the only point of infinite discontinuity of one by x square. And so we evaluate this limit, limit uh, epsilon tends to zero plus epsilon to one dx by x square. So this uh, integration is just to ev evaluate this integration. So it's minus one by x and put the limits. It's epsilon tends to zero plus of minus one plus one by epsilon. But uh, see, this is the sum of two functions. And here we have a limit. This limit will exist if uh, individually these two limits exist, right? So here, uh, this um, epsilon tends to zero plus of one by epsilon is actually plus infinity. So this limit doesn't exist finitely. Hence, zero to one dx by x squared is divergent. Okay, it's not convergent. Okay, so we'll just try another problem. Integration zero to one dx by root over one minus x. Okay, so it's similar to the earlier problem that I gave you. So here, one is the only point of infinite discontinuity because uh, at x equal to one, this uh, becomes denominator becomes zero. Okay. That way also you can see, or x tends to zero. If x tends to one minus, then one by root over one minus x tends to plus infinity. Okay, so x equal to one is a point of infinite discontinuity here. Okay, so uh, what is this limit? Limit epsilon. So now I have to consider this limit because one is the upper limit here. Okay, so I have to consider uh, the upper limit as for the limiting value. I have to consider the upper limit as one minus epsilon. Okay. So if you evaluate this, it's minus two root over one minus x, minus because of this one minus x terms. Okay, so it's very simple to integrate. Uh, you put one minus x equal to t. Okay, you have done lots of such problem in higher secondary. One minus x equal to t, then uh, dx is minus dt. Okay, so that way it comes. So we didn't need to do so so many steps. We already know these things. Okay, so it's quite obvious. So we will not make any substitution and all. Mentally, we we do it mentally. Uh, limit epsilon tends to zero plus of minus two root over one minus x. Okay, then you put the limits, so you'll end up with two root epsilon minus two. So you put epsilon tends to zero, and then this limit will be two. Okay, so this exists finitely. That means this integration is convergent, and its value is two. Okay, right. Let us try this also. Integration zero to two dx by twice x minus x square. So here 0 and 2 are the only points of infinite discontinuity of 1 by 2 x minus x square because you put x equal to 0 it's uh, undefined here, put x equal to 2 is undefined here, right? So uh, we consider, so we, we have to split it into two parts, okay? So let us see uh, one part, part by part. So I write this one as 0 to 1 dx by 2 x minus x square. And I2, I write it as 1 to 2 dx by 2x minus x squared. Now the original integral will exist only when both of these two integrals exist. Okay, So let us see one by one, the first one. Integration, uh, yeah, limit of epsilon tends to 0 plus epsilon to 1 dx by 2x minus x squared. Okay, so that also in higher secondary you have already done. So you can do it by uh, splitting into partial fractions as well. Or you can do it this way, uh, write it as uh, some a square minus x square form. Okay. So 1 minus 1 minus x whole square and then uh, this can be written as uh, so it's if you remember integration of dx by a square minus x square is uh, integration uh, yeah, 1 by twice a log of a plus x by a minus x. Okay. That is the integration. Uh, so this is there and ultimately if you evaluate it's after putting the limits log 1 will become 0 and what happens to this half log of 2, 2 minus epsilon by epsilon so if you simplify this it's half log of 2 minus epsilon minus 
half log of epsilon okay but out of these two limits this uh, the first limit exists okay it's log 2 but the second limit doesn't exist minus uh, limit x uh, epsilon tends to 0 plus of log epsilon okay so when epsilon tends to 0 plus log epsilon tends to minus infinity okay so uh, yeah the the whole limit is plus infinity so this integral this integral doesn't exist does, doesn't converge okay this integral doesn't, doesn't convert so the given integral diverges okay one of the integrals so it's we don't need to check the other one even if the other one is convergent uh, the original integral will be divergent okay so it's enough to check only one part okay let us uh, see another problem integration 0 to 1 dx by root over 1 minus x square okay so here one is the only point of infinite discontinuity so you consider this this limit limit epsilon tends to 0 plus of 0 to 1 minus epsilon okay so you as you know this is a very standard integral root over uh, dx by 1 minus x uh, root over x uh, 1 minus x square its integration is sine inverse x okay so it's uh, sine inverse 1 minus epsilon to minus sine inverse 0 and if you put this limit it's sine inverse 1 which is pi by 2 okay uh, so 0 to 1 dx by root over 1 minus x square converges and its value is pi by 2 one more problem integration a to two, 1 to 2 x dx by root over x minus 1 okay here one is the only point of infinite discontinuity so let us try to evaluate this yeah so limit z, z, epsilon tends to 0 plus of 1 1 plus epsilon to 2 okay we will evaluate this limit so uh, you can do it very easily by writing this x as x minus 1 plus 1 okay and then separate them so the first part will become a proper integral root over x minus 1 this is nothing but a proper integral because it doesn't have infinite points of discontinuity even then we are evaluating it this way no problem and this part remains a improper integral so this already we have seen how to integrate so it's twice x minus 1 and if you put these values here ultimately when epsilon tends to 0 plus the value comes out to be 8 by 3 okay so the value is 8 by 3 so this integral is convergent and its value is 8 by 3 okay right so these are some examples which i have shown uh, now this is the time for your homework i did not give many of uh, homeworks in the remaining integration part because in the, in the remaining integration part most of the exercises are actually theorems right uh, so there is uh, i had to do all the theorems okay but here uh, there is a lot of scope to give you homeworks Please try solving these things. All these are taken from Malikarura book. Uh, please try these things and post the solution in the WhatsApp group as well. Okay, I want to see at least some of you try these things. So try to evaluate. If, if you do not uh, get any of this, then I'll, I'll discuss. Okay, please let me know which one you are finding it difficult. Okay, all these problems, you try the, all these problems. Okay. These are not that difficult just see how i have done and try to evaluate okay so please send your uh, problems after doing the problem please post it in the whatsapp group okay so that i can have a look uh, i can have a quick look at the problems that you have done okay. or um, yeah e even if you are finding some problem difficulty in any of these problems please, please let me know i'll uh, i'll I'll discuss, I'll discuss in the next lecture, right? Okay, so till then, thank you.